Hey guys, it's me, Lisa, and in today's video, you're going to be learning how to take the backgrounds out of not only images that you search on Google, but also your personal photos. This is really great if you want to include those in your Google Classrooms, you want to use them as Zoom backgrounds while you're um, completing synchronous learning with your students. Okay, but what makes today's video a little special is that I'm not going to be doing it by myself. Today, I'm going to be having my daughter, Rosalie, help me with the tutorial. Introduce yourself. Hi guys, I'm Rosalie. And she's going to be teaching everyone how to remove the backgrounds from images first. So go ahead. So, um, my mommy searched unicorns for me because I really, really like unicorns. So you're gonna left click to get in. And usually when there is a um, checkered background, it usually means it's clear, but for us, it didn't work. We tried, and yeah. So I'm going to show you how to remove the background. So you're going to go, so you're going to right click. You're going to copy image. And then you're going to go to remove background. So that's remove BG website. And then, hold on. Okay, go ahead. And then, control. You're going to hit Control and then V and then let go. So that's Control V. If you're on a Mac, that's going to be Control uh, Command V. And then you're going to right click, copy image, and then you're going to go to your slide. You're going to right click, paste, and then it should appear. And sometimes you have to shrink it. Most of the time you do. So when the arrow pops up like that, that means you can shrink it to the size you need. And then you left click to move it. Whatever you would, you would like. All right, awesome job. So that's how you remove the background from an image. Now, if you want to do it with a photo, we have already saved an image to our computer so that I can show you how to do it with that. So we're going to go back to remove BG. Okay, and then I'm going to upload an image this time from my computer. You did a really great job, Rosalie. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so then here I have the photo that I uploaded. It was a cute Snapchat photo of Rosalie and I. Okay, and there we go. Now I took the background out of my photo. So now I can just right click. You don't have to download it if you don't want to. If you want to save storage space on your computer, you can always just right click, copy image, just like Rosalie had done with the unicorn, and then go back to your room. Okay, these are slides and rooms that Rosalie has learned how to create herself. Okay, and there we are with no background, which is super cute. So like I said, if you wanted to take a photo of yourself um, pointing at really nothing, um, you can then take the background out of your photo, and then stick yourself into your slides where it looks like you're pointing to maybe a chalkboard or important information, um, someplace you want students to click, okay? And it would just add a little bit of more fun. So if you wanted to do something a little different than adding your Bitmoji to your classrooms, you can also add your photos, okay? Um, just Rosalie wanted me to mention that she also has a channel and I will include the link to that. It has a lot of child-friendly content, read alouds, um, she does reviews of some toys, she has um, also videos on how to be a good friend and include others. So if you want to check that out, I'll include the link in the description of my video. Uh, is there anything you want to say before we leave, Rosalie? Um, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications, give us a thumbs up. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Take care everyone.